good and the bad. He sends rain to the just as well as the unjust. God don't just lie the rain on the Christian's grass. The heathen grass give the rain to them. Amen. And he's no respect of persons. So he says, when you do good, only to those who do good to you, what good is it? How can people see that you're really children of God when you act an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth? Hello, man. When you kill my cat, I kill your cat too. You snuff my dog, I snuff your dog. You run over my grass, I'm going to run over your glass and pick up your flowers. Ain't no way for a child of God to act. You talk about me, I talk about you. You lie on me, I lie on you and then confront you about the lie that you lied on me about. Ain't no way children of God. Children of God know the value. Go on into the closet. Shutting the door behind them. And they know the value of praying to their father in secret. Their father who hears them in secret. We reward them openly. You follow me? I have experienced some things in my life. And some of it was the work of my own hands. You follow what I'm saying? I cause trouble to trouble me. And, and bump my head in the midst of the trouble and realize that I was the cause of the trouble and got up and threw myself upon the mercy of the throne of God. You follow me? There was some stuff that was going to happen to me as a result of my own doing. I asked God in my closet. Whatever your will is to happen, let it happen. I trust in you to the degree that I know you won't destroy me. So I'm going to trust that whatever you want to happen, Father, let it happen. I know what I've done, and I know the extent of what I've done. So whatever your will is, Whatever recompense mm -hmm. has to be paid because of my own actions. Lord, let your will be done. When I threw myself upon the, upon the throne of God's grace and mercy, he fixed that thing. I didn't expect no favors because I knew I had messed up. I didn't expect him to deliver me because I deserved to be where I was. I just asked him if it's your will yes, yes. that you can salvage something of me to use after this, then use me. If not, Father, let your will be done. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, he fixed it. Yes. He fi and here I am today because he fixed it better than I was before I went into that thing. Mm -hmm. Because he fixed it. I didn't have any expectations. I just wanted his will to be done. Whatever his will was, that's what I was going to go with. He fixed it. And he'll fix it for you. He fixed it for Joseph. He fixed it for Shadrach. He fixed it for Daniel. He fixed it for Abraham. He fixed it for Paul. Fixed it for Peter. He fixed it for John on the Isle of Patmos. He fixed it for Tillman and Montgomery. I know he'll fix it for you. But you gotta trust in it. You gotta trust in it and say, Lord, here I am. Let your will be done. And don't allow the circumstances of your life to cause you to do what you know you ain't got no business doing. Some of us are like little children. We like that. Stuff start going wrong. We 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 spiritually pout and start doing stuff we know we ain't got no business doing. First thing we do is we don't come to church. That's the first thing we do. Call a 
house of Saul? So what are you? I was going through something. Was, was that the reason you stay away from the Lord? Amen. You gonna punish the Lord because you're going through something? The first thing we do, we don't show up at church. And then said, because I was going through something. I was going through something. Amen. Baby, this is the going through some place right here. Whether you don't recognize it by now, this is what you're supposed to be when you're going through something. Amen. You don't run away from the Lord when you're going through something. You run to the Lord when you're going through something. Amen. Come on in here. Stand up and say, y'all, I'm going through something. And we're going to say, we are too. <laughs> <laughs> Let us band together. We can all get through our something together. You follow me? Don't run away from the Lord when stuff starts happening in your life. Spiritually power. Taking your frustrations out on God. Because he's allowed trouble to trouble you. Don't realize there's a blessing in trouble. Trouble can make you a better person. I know I'm a better person because of trouble. And I cause the trouble. That's when I give God so much glory. Because he should have punished me to the fifth degree for what I did. But he blessed me instead. I ain't going to question him as to why. I'm going to accept the blessing and I ain't going back there never no more. You ain't got to tell me where not to go. I don't know where not to go. The Lord told me like he told the woman who was caught in the midst of adultery, go and see it no more. I said, yes, Lord. I'm going. I ain't going back no more. Let it bless you. Straighten your life out. Get it together. See where he put you where he wants you to be. If you're here this morning and you need prayer, you need strength for something that you're dealing with. You want to do good, but you just ain't found the strength to do it because of what's happening. Come on, let us pray for you. God will give you the strength that you need to do just that. If you need to repent of some sins, you need to change your because you've been thinking wrong. You've been plotting and contemplating like Joseph's brothers did. How are you going to get back at somebody? You need to cut that out right now. Because vengeance belongs to God. And when you mess around and put your little fickle hands on it, you're going to mess it up. You follow me? They, they, they can't put the Lord in jail. Hello in here. They can't do nothing to him. So when you put your hands on folk, you're going to mess it up. When the Lord put his hands on all they can do is cry for mercy. So let the Lord put his hands on Keep your hands off of them. So if you need to repent, then repent. You need to confess that you've committed some sins that you need, need forgiveness of. Come make your confession. If you need to be saved, we want you to walk down this aisle and be baptized this morning. You've heard the fact that Jesus has died, that he was buried, that he rose again. The question is, do you believe that? Yes. Belief in Jesus causes you to repent of your sins. Belief in Jesus causes you to say, I'm not living this way no more. Enough is enough. It's time for me to get my life together. And that's what you do. And so when you repent, when we stand up, you start walking, and before this company, you're going to make a confession that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Why must you do that? Because the Bible says that you must do that in Romans 10, 9 and 10. Plus, Jesus says in Matthew 10, 33, if you confess me before men, you also will I confess before my Father, which is in heaven. I don't know about you, but I want Jesus to say he know me. Amen. Amen. The only way he's going to say he know me is if I tell folk I know him. <laughs> Confess him to be the son of the living God. Be baptized in water for the remission of your sins. God will add you to his church. That don't mean that trouble going to leave you alone. Sometimes that's when trouble starts. We baptized folk on Sunday and Tuesday were going through hell. That's just the way the devil come at Trying to take them back to where they came from. We ran it around on them, begging and pleading. Don't you go back there. The devil trying to get you to, to, to retreat and go back to where you came from. You made the right decision. Stay with the Lord. You'll always prevail with him. So don't think that just because you get in the body, that that's when the trouble is going to stop. That sometimes that's when it starts. But the beautiful thing about that is that God has got my back. See, when trouble trouble you and you don't belong to him, you're on your own. But when trouble troubles me, God got my back. And I know at any given moment, he can just say, peace be still. And everybody and everything that's bothering me got to leave me alone. You follow me? You have that assurance when you're his child. Come on this morning and do what you